T7, this is the best of seven sports talk with Seven Mitchell. So, it is all laid out Thursday night. It's going down game one of the NBA Finals. Now 1-1. We got the Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers. LeBron James, seven consecutive NBA Finals appearances. This is crazy. He's en route to possibly repeating for the second time in his career. Steph Curry, Kevin Durant and company trying to make history again. This is definitely what we've been waiting for all season. Now that we're here, let's talk about it. Now, first of all, man, salute to my co-host, J.O., our new co-host, Forensics. But Forensics TV is going to be joining us. The new podcast is relaunching this week. LeBron James, is he going to be better than Jordan eventually? Does he have an option? Does he have a shot? We've talked about this so many times over and over and over again. A lot of people can debate LeBron is already better than Jordan. It's just a clutch gene. It's just those situations that Jordan was in that he capitalized that made him a difference. Um, you can't really necessarily count championships because you got guys like Bill Walton that had more rings than Jordan. So jo championships was not really the only measuring stick when we used to measure Jordan as being the best. So can LeBron actually become a greater player than Michael Jordan? Uh, through and through I think it's tough I think it's going to be up for debate forever I, don't, I think that LeBron has lost some of the opportunities that he've had to get this to be a clear debate in his behalf you know losing as many finals as you've had um, some of those clutch situations that you know Jordan may not have come up short LeBron has come up short and I think that's always going to haunt him even if it was or was not his fault he takes a lot of pressure he's had a lot better competition though than I think that Jordan has had so, you know, I do think that that's a plus for LeBron. He's definitely changed the game to a whole nother level. But, you know, you're going to have your, your pluses and your minuses. I do think that with a, a championship this year, a repeat, that automatically puts him over Kobe. Some people might feel he's already over Kobe. But this definitely would put him in over Kobe, in my opinion. MJ, I don't know. Winning back-to-back -back championships in Cleveland, that's a big deal. Taking that two franchises to the NBA Finals four years. Cleveland went four years. Miami went four years. Let's not forget about that. Um, it's very really interesting, man. LeBron James is big time. This is going to be a big time finals appearance for both teams. Something tell me Golden State going to take this one. But, you know, if Kyrie do what, he, what, what Kyrie is showing that he may do, we will have repeat champions in Cleveland. So I think LeBron, as valuable as he is, as, as key as Steph and all these other guys is, to me, Kyrie Irving is definitely the key in this finals if he can lock down on Steph and if he can get it popping like he's always been doing especially in the postseason definitely give Cleveland a chance to get this done in six or seven I mean, Golden State got the uh, home court advantage but it's all about who wanted the most you already know man so NBA finals going down this Thursday Kevin Durant Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors versus LeBron James Kyrie Irving and the Cleveland Cavaliers round three NBA Finals matchup. Y'all let me know who y'all going to think on this battle. T7M Radio, 7 Mitchell, the best of 7 sports talk. Join us weekday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 347-989-8102. Follow us everywhere on social media at T7M Radio. And subscribe to the YouTube channel as well at T7M Radio. Y'all stay safe. Let us know what y'all think. It's the best of 7 sports talk. T7M Radio. I'm out. Peace.